what? He mm. got paid. Mm. Uh, so this was a soft quarterback market, but not for Saquon Barkley. Well, no, he lands a huge deal and obviously shakes up the running back market. It's a situation uh, where basically he goes to Philadelphia. He's from Pennsylvania, and he will get a chance to go back home. So when you look at a couple of other backs who uh, found new homes today, you look at DeAndre Swift with the Bears and Tony Pollard with the Titans at contracts that average about $8 million a year. Mm. Saquon, over $12 million yeah, a year. You know, this is, if you're Saquon, you're looking at the Philadelphia Eagles offensive line and you're going, hold on, this is the number one team yeah. in the NFL in run block win rate last year. And I'm leaving a team that right now can't keep the same group of five on the field. I had probably one of my worst years in, tar- in terms of yardage before initial contact that I've ever had. I'm struggling just to crack four per carry with behind this offensive line. And look, that's not to disparage the Giants offensive line. That's just the way it is. And you're going to maybe one of the best. If you're him right now, you're going, I got paid more and I'm going in the hmm. division and I got a better hmm. offensive line. Hmm. Well, Kellen Moore's probably sitting there going, let's go, baby. Let's go to work. Good for Saquon, though. He deserves this. He deserves this opportunity. But you can best believe the pressure will be on him now to go ahead and deliver outsized results. You know, in, in accordance with what he got paid. What does it mean for the Eagles, Dana? Well, it's it's counterintuitive to who they've been. And Lewis, you were in that yeah. building. You know, this is not what they've done. This is an organization that forever has invested into the line of scrimmage, both offensive and defensive line. And it, yeah. it's won them Super Bowls. It's brought them to Super Bowls. And this is a position that I don't want to say that they've ignored, but certainly yeah. in free agency they haven't invested in. And I think this is a little bit of a 180 from that because they must believe that the interior of the offensive line is going to be okay, even mm-hmm. with Kelsey leaving. We know it's a very healthy roster. And if you add a Saquon Barkley with Kellen Moore comes over as the offensive coordinator, do they look at it like that's the Christian McCaffrey, that, that he was mm-hmm. to San Francisco, where you get to use him in multiple ways, and then Jalen Hurts has that massive bounce back here? I, I think it's a fascinating case study. I yeah. really do, because, again, this is an organization that has not operated like this since Brian Westbrook, maybe, you know, in, yeah. in years where yeah. you were there. And, and this is I mean, a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, it's, he had a free fall at right. the end of yeah. the season. Last they year, had to do right. something. How much does this help hurt? I think they're reinventing a little bit. It, that, last mm-hmm. year was humbling. Those it's, last it's, six it's, weeks. They, they yeah. obviously feel as though they're a couple pieces away from maybe taking another mm-hmm. jump. But what's interesting to me is the fact that, look, you start hearing reports that Josh Sweat is on the, is on the trading block. Hassan Reddick's on the trading block. I mean, so mm-hmm. that, that's interesting to me right there that now they go ahead and pay this money to Saquon because you're yeah. right. It is out of character.